Hi, I'm Jim. I'm the Solo Boondocker. Stay with me long enough, I'll teach you to be one too. Remember, you can find me at jimindenver.com where I do solar design and consultation. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about MPPT versus PWM. Now, this could be a very long, lengthy discussion about how an MPPT controller works and how a PWM controller works and how the MPPT can milk all of the power out of your panels and the PWM, well, it dumps some of it. But really, I just want to show you what it means to you. What it means to spend a little extra money on an MPPT controller and get all that is in the panels. Because honestly, an MPPT controller doesn't produce an extra amp, watt, volt. It makes accessible the power that's already in your panels and that the PWM controller will not use. So on the left over here, we have two flexible 100 watt panels in parallel running to a PWM controller. On the right over here, we have two flexible 100 watt panels in series running to an MPPT controller. These two controllers, one is PWM, one is MPPT. On the left side is a Solar 30 PWM controller. It's a good basic PWM that, well, as long as I've been in solar, people have been using. It costs roughly $25 on Amazon. I'll leave the link below. It allows you to set basic parameters. It does a good job. People don't complain about it. On the right is an EcoWorthy 20 amp MPPT controller. I've been using one of these since 2012. I ran all of my tests with them. I used them in parallel, two and three at a time. Uh, the first one I bought, I gave away after five years. The person is still using it. They're very happy. It too allows you to set basic parameters. Kind of use it as a, a manual charger if you want very functional unit. Right now I believe it's $79 on Amazon. Again I'll leave the link down below. The Solar 30 is producing 8 amps. The EcoWorthy 20 amp MPPT is producing over 11 amps. That's a 3 amp difference. Now, as the voltage of the battery comes up, the PWM will be able to use more of the power coming out of the solar panels, but it will never catch up with the MPPT that can use all of the voltage coming out of the solar panels. Now plugging them in you're going to notice that the voltage of the battery is low and that's because I'm using my truck battery and the headlights to keep it down and show you this. The voltage is low because just like when you wake up in the morning you've used your battery all night it's at its lowest point. That's when MPPT provides you the most power over PWM. Actually, I should say that's when PWM costs you the most power. The Solar 30 is producing 8 amps. The EcoWorthy 20 amp is producing over 11. That's better than a 3 amp gain. When you need it the most, early in the morning when your battery voltage is the lowest, you're getting 3 amps less out of a PWM controller, and that's only out of 200 watts. Think about it. If you had 400 watts, it'd be 6 amps. If you had 600 watts, it'd be 9 amps. A system like mine that's almost 1,200 watts, that's 18 amps. 
Now, what does three amps actually mean? I've had people actually tell me, oh yeah, three amps, gotta have that three amps, oh wow. Well, on a long summer day with a portable solar setup tracking the sun, three amps will recharge a group 24 battery taken down to 50%. That's the battery that comes in most uh, Class C motorhomes, travel trailers, Class Bs, Wow, that's a battery that's used an awful lot straight out of the factory. You get to recharge that battery simply of the excess that's provided by MPPT. So if you're recharging the battery off the excess that MPPT provides, what do you get to do with the other 8 amps that it's also providing? Well, you can do an awful lot with 8 amps, amps an hour, believe me. So in the end, MPPT really does do a lot for you. It, it gives you all of the power of your panels. Again, I, I don't want to have a long lengthy discussion that's going to bore you and make your eyes glaze over and give you terms that you're just not going to understand. And in reality, you don't need to know what the guts of an MPPT controller do or what the guts of a PWM controller doesn't do. But what you do need to know is that even on a small system, a 200 watt system, you get that much more power out of MPPT. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please come back and see me again because I sure do enjoy talking to you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.